Hey guys, this is Dr. Keenan again, and uh, I want to do this quick video about the most dangerous witchcraft I have ever seen. Now, I've made a couple videos about some of this stuff, but I want to talk about the most dangerous witchcraft I've ever witnessed or have ever seen. As many of you know that I travel the globe, I've seen all kinds of things. I've been to third world countries, I've seen demonic stuff, you know, as I travel the globe and and, 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 and minister and that kind of thing. But I, I want to talk about what I've seen that has to be the most potent and the most dangerous, and I would even dare to say powerful, and I'm careful how I use that word, witchcraft, uh, that I've ever witnessed. Now, I remember going to Haiti after the earthquake, and we were in this room. And I remember being in this room, and uh, they, they put all of the missionaries inside this particular room. And they locked us in from the outside, so we couldn't get out, even if we wanted to. We couldn't get out. And they locked us in, and they said, you know, you got to stay in here. And finally, I dared to ask them, why do you do this? You know, uh, somebody told me to ask, uh, to ask the people in this particular village why they did it. And they said that the reason why we walk, lock you in is because of dragons. There are fire-breathing dragons that come out at night, and we don't want you to be consumed by these dragons. And these people weren't joking. I mean, they, they, they were serious. I heard about zombies when I was there. In fact, I saw it my own my own eyes um, a goat speak with a human being's voice. And I remember going to Nigeria, and the things I saw there, the spiritual attacks and the spiritual darkness... I remember going to this shrine and just feeling a demonic presence as we went to this exhibit, which was actually a shrine. I mean, it was some evil stuff. Evil. But I want to tell you a secret. The worst form of witchcraft I have ever seen or ever witnessed and the most dangerous form of witchcraft is in the United States of America. Not overseas, not in some third world country. It's not in India. It's not in Africa. It's not in Asia. Is not in some South American village or anything like that. But the most dangerous, destructive, and really the most evil form of witchcraft I have ever witnessed is in the pews. It's in churches. It's among leadership. And there are those who have used their mouth to cast spells, to speak evil, to, to, to decree wickedness. And it's in the form of gossip and slander. Now, you guys don't know it, or maybe you never thought about it. But when you speak slander, when you gossip, it is a form of witchcraft. It is a form of cursing another person. It is a form of, of releasing or imploring evil in that person's life. When you slander someone, you are practicing the most destructive and dangerous form of witchcraft. And the reason why, the reason why it's the most dangerous form of witchcraft is because the average person doesn't even know it's witchcraft. The word pharmakia in the Greek for witchcraft, it means to cast a spell to intoxicate. What have I told you that there are people in churches that are using that are using their mouth to cast a spell on others, to intoxicate others, to cause other people to see others in an evil way. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Accusation, slander, gossip. Our churches are full of these things. Yet most of us don't even think about it. We never even we never even consider the dangerous effects of this kind of stuff. But it is destructive and it's tearing the body of Christ apart. It is just as dangerous as the voodoo priest, as the shaman, as the witch doctor, as the babalawo, as all of that kind of stuff. When you open your mouth and you speak death, and this is why we wonder why many churches are failing and falling. Don't just blame the, the, the clergy don't just blame the ecclesiastical order, but there's a part that many of us have played because we've spoken out of our mouth. The church and Satan, you know, Satan doesn't even have to, 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 to visit churches anymore. 
because he has members working for him in the church, employed by him full time, full time. The worst kind of witchcraft I've ever seen. So before you rebuke the devil and before you talk about casting out this and, 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 and taking authority over that, what we need to do is look in the mirror and cast the devil out of our own mouths. Out of our own mouth where we've spoken lies in the name of the Lord. Spoken uh, 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 use our mouth as an orifice of darkness, given our opinion, and they're all over Facebook. These are the ones they always, they're always trying to find something evil to say, trying to find the most scandalous thing they can to go tell somebody about it, to go talk about it. That is witchcraft, and it doesn't please God, and if you continue in it, you will reap destruction. Better hear what I'm saying. I talk about this in my book, I'm Asking the Accuser, because the Lord showed me that the church was being destroyed from the inside out. It's an inside job. It's an inside job. We have Christian tabloids that publish nonsense about the church and about leaders, and we do it to make money. It's witchcraft. It's divination. It's sorcery. It's, it's releasing evil. There are people that want ministers to fail and to fall. But I got good news. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. God never told you to curse your brother or sister. Never forget a woman told me that God, God told me to go mark churches and to set these churches for destruction. You are being led by a demonic spirit and a familiar demon that is not God. Jesus, who died on the cross for the church, wants you to curse the church. So he hired you. He told you to curse the church. He told you to curse the church. Jesus died for his church, but he called you to curse it. The devil is a liar. It's witchcraft. It's divination. It's the occult. It's sorcery. It's manipulation and control. And it's absolutely evil. And it's the worst form of witchcraft I have ever seen in my entire life. We talk about third world countries where there's third world witchcraft on the pews at your local church because people use their mouth after saying praise the Lord and thank you Jesus they run down the pastor with their word run down the first lady with their words they run down their brother and their sisters with their words they speak evil they call it prayer and intercession and they're not a bit more praying than the man in the moon they don't care about praying for anybody they're just using prayer as a cover up to gossip they call you and they say I got let's pray we got to pray about so and so and it's nothing but the devil using them and they need to be set free from deception and lies and destruction and God is unmasking the devil and he is exposing the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus and I break every form of witchcraft I break every form of divination that's been used against the body of Christ in the name of prayer and intercession that's not prayer that's not intercession that's witchcraft so before you look at your look for your local rain man or shaman or African priest or voodoo priest with a bone hanging through their nose or 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 or, or their lips pierced or tribal painting on their face, the first person you need to look at is Sister Betty on the intercessory team at your local church. But I break that spirit today. I declare it's null and void. It's time to unmask the accuser and fight Satan's favorite lie.